Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about uh, the if else statement or conditional statement in CL program. So, for the same, here I have created one program. So, let's go through that program. So, I'm opening it in edit mode. So, here on line number 9, we are writing pgm command, uh, which is basically for retrieving the parameter, but here we are not retrieving any parameter so i keep it as blank okay so this is just a beginning of the program and below to that on line number 12 we uh, line number 13 we are declaring one variable which is age variable and uh, it is of decimal type of length 3 and also we have assigned some value to this variable which is 11 okay so for now i'm making it as 19 so now this variable contains the value as 19 so if you want to see the declaration all information of declaration you can take f4 so these are the value that i have passed and also we have covered the session uh, for variable declaration so if you are not sure like how to declare the variable you can go to go through that session but uh, especially for this session we are going to discuss about uh, only about the if else condition or state uh, conditional statements okay so we have declared that variable now to check the condition if else condition means like uh, we, we are going to check some particular condition and if it is true then we will perform some action and if it is not true then we will perform some other uh, functionality okay so here you can see that on line number 13 I am writing if so let me show you on some one blank line so I am rewriting this condition so if you want to put any condition just write simply if then press F4 and here in conditional field you have to put your condition so to put your condition you have to open your parenthesis and just simply write your variable name on which you want to perform the condition so let's say i want to check for age so i will write age and then you can write star gt gt means greater than if you want to check for less than then you can put lt if you want to check for equal then write eq and not equals ne so likewise you can select the condition okay so these are some comparative things so usually we go with greater than less than or equal to okay so as per your requirement you can select those condition for example let's say we want to check for greater than condition then you can put here value let's say i want to check for 18 so it will check whether age is greater than or 18 if it is greater than 18 then it will be considered as true and in true case what we will do we will just simply write here do and just hit enter so what it means like here it will check for this condition and if it is true then it will perform the thing which is written in this do block so this do is not related to looping this is just for instructing that we have to perform this particular task okay so to make it more clear i'm deleting this line and i will go back to my existing code so here you can see that i'm checking for the condition age which is if it is greater than 18 then do and this do started from here and ended at end at this line okay so whatever the things written in between these uh, will be performed in true condition so if this condition is true it will perform this line which is snd pgm msg eligible for voting okay so this do is not related to the looping this is just for performing the task so it it will directly check the condition if it is true then it will go for then do do means perform and it will go for uh, go and perform this uh, the lines which is written in this block and simply came out of the loop once the line six uh, line is executed so this is all about if condition now suppose if this condition fails it means the result is false then what will happen then it will go for the else condition and it will check for the and it will go for uh, go to perform these conditions which is written in inside this do block okay so this is also not a looping related do this is for performing the task so whatever the things we are performing or whatever the things comes under this block it will be executed in in case of uh, else okay so if this condition falls then it will uh, came to this block and it will perform it will show this output to the user and in the end we are just writing npgm so here 
like in at the time of variable declaration we have set the value as 19 so this condition will pass means it will execute this code because 19 is greater than 18 so it will it is true and it will simply print this message so let's compile and see whether we are getting the correct output or not I'm calling it so we are getting the correct output which is eligible for voting okay now try to modify the code so here I'm changing the value back to the 11 and we will try it uh, in this case what will happen it will go for this condition and it will check whether age is greater than 18 or not uh, and the age which we are passing right now is 11 which is not greater than it 18 so what it will do it will directly came out to out of this uh, block and it will execute this else block and here we have written SNDPGM MSGS non, non, uh, not eligible for voting so let's compile and see whether we are getting the output correct or not so yeah we are getting the correct output this time it shows not eligible for voting so it is quite simple to use this conditional statement in CL the only difference as compared to RPG program is that like here the syntax is quite different okay so here, uh, here we have to write in this way like then do and which is not related to looping so just remember this thing this is not related to looping this is just for uh, performing the block which which is written inside this do and end do okay so here we have to close the if statement with end do whereas if we talk about RPG we uh, there we uh, terminate the if condition with end if but here in CL we have to terminate, terminate it with end do okay so this is the if block and this is the else block if if block is executed successfully then it will not check for the else block uh, but if it is failed then it will check for the else block and perform the logic uh, perform the code as per the logic so I, ho I hope that this thing is clear to all of you and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare Method